My name is Marius. I'm a full-time work-from-home entrepreneur. But yeah, why would you care? Well, let me tell you. See, when I first started, it was hell. I made nothing or very, very little money online. Things were tough. I so wish there was somebody to point me in the right direction and give me solid advice on how to make money online, even if it was just $100 a day. I spent thousands on courses, and I've had enough of these so-called gurus charging a fortune for courses and only giving you just enough information to confuse you, just so you have to buy another course from them. So I decided to lay it all out in this free YouTube video just to spite them. Let me show you how to make $100 a day online with as little as one hour of work per day as well as a couple of ways of how not to make $100 a day. And with me saying $100 a day online is a huge understatement, as you can make thousands. Now, this is not a get-rich-overnight kind of thing, but more a long-term, sustainable online option. Because, and I want you to say this with me, get-rich-overnight things do not exist unless you win the lottery. So let's keep things realistic and let me show you how to make $100 a day online and then we work our way up from there. This is video one of three and I chose to break these videos into smaller bite-sized pieces so you can visit any part and not have to re-watch the entire thing. I will leave a link to the next video in the description below. If you're not following this channel, please do so now and hit the notification icon just so you can be notified when I upload new videos. Now, can you imagine what it would be like if you make an extra $100 per day online or even $3,000 per month? How would that change your life? You would be able to pay off debt, go on a vacation, give back more, or even buy someone special that's something special. Now imagine you reach that $100 per day mark. Perhaps you would be able to quit that sucky job of yours, invest more time into your online business. Well, even if you don't resign, imagine what you can achieve if you put in two hours of work a day, or even two hours every other day. Yes, you could double or even triple that $3,000. So at this point, you might be thinking, why should I listen to you, Marius? Well, I've been online for three years now, and I've left the 85 grind. I've been making money online full-time for the past two years. I've been on many leaderboards and I've helped many people to start making money online. So let's have a look at some of the options you have to make money online and why you should avoid some of them. For me to do that, I need to tell you my story and how it all started. Yes, when I first started, believe it or not, I tried almost everything. My first project was dropshipping. Now, the principle seems pretty straightforward. And it's very easy to put in place. You upload other people's products to your website, with a markup, of course. You get orders, you collect the payment, you pay the supplier, and you have the supplier deal with the delivery. And, of course, they pretend you've shipped the product. Remember I said it seems simple enough? 
Well, here's the catch. For someone like me that had very little technical skills, setting up a website was a nightmare. I ended up paying a small fortune for a half-decent website. Once the website was up and uh, the products were loaded, I found out that my website's ranking was number one million two hundred billion four hundred and sixty-three thousand, all the way down at the bottom Google ranking list. In other words, the website was not on the first page of Google. And as they say, where's the best place to hide a website? Yeah, on page two of the Google search, of course. I was on page 5,000. Now, after speaking to search engine optimization professionals, I found out that the format you use to create these dropshipping websites is very difficult to optimize and extremely pricey. So this left me no other choice but to run costly ads. And as a final blow, the few sales I managed to make were either delivered late, damaged, not delivered at all, and some were even delivered incorrectly. Uh, what I mean by that is a customer would order a gold ring size 10, but he received <laughs> a silver ring size 5. I spent more money paying refunds than what I actually made. Oh, and did I mention finding a third party to collect credit card payments is a logistical nightmare. Well, next I tried offering services. Now you can level platforms such as Fiverr or Upwork to advertise your service for you. A great idea. But the downside? A thousand people are competing to sell the same service. You're kind of trading your old job for a new one and there's no room to expand. Why do I say that? Well, there are only 24 hours in a day, and each service takes up a chunk of your day. So the only way of expanding would be to, number one, outsource the work and then spend most of your time cleaning up somebody else's mess because they don't understand what you needed. Number two, you start hiring staff, and that's not something I want to deal with. As it's just back to the office every single morning. MLM. Well, this is a fantastic concept. You get other people to promote the product. And in turn, they get people to promote the same product. And you still get a piece of the pie. Now, until one person drops out, or decides to leave and take half of your downline with them. <laughs> this is a constant recruiting challenge. Now, surveys. Admit, you've been there, you've tried it. Two bucks for 30 minutes of work, only to get halfway through. Now, once they've got all their desired information from you, you get told you do not qualify for the service. <laughs> a killer one. So, here's my preferred way of making money online, and it's called affiliate marketing. Now, what is it? Because you get a personalized link, and you recommend products to someone else. And if a person buys the product, or makes use of the service via your link, you get paid a commission. I'm sure you've done it before, you just never realized it. Oh, I paid for it. I'm sure you've watched a movie or you've listened to a song. And then you've gone and told somebody else how great it was. That person then went out and they watched the movie or they listened to the song. And boom, you just promoted somebody else's product. Yes, it's as easy as that. Hey, hey, no, don't worry, we don't have to bother family and friends. The nice thing is that you don't even have to deal with anything. Credit card payments, refunds, support, delivery, fulfillment, nothing. 
Remember, this is not your product or service. You only refer people to it. Let me give you an example of affiliate marketing. Let's take Netflix. Hundreds of thousands of people join or pay their subscription every month. Now, what if you can leverage yourself between Netflix and the person or persons that want to sign up? And then in return, Netflix pays you a commission as a thank you for sending all those customers. Now, can you imagine how big this can grow in a short space of time? Another prime example of a massive business built on the affiliate marketing model is Uber. Uber does not own any vehicles. They refer people in need of a ride to people who are willing to use their vehicles as a taxi. And they get to keep a commission. Now, what are the requirements for affiliate marketing? Well, it only takes one to two hours per day in your spare time as a side hustle or full time if you so wish. All you need is a phone or a laptop or a PC and an internet connection. So this works from anywhere, even the comfort of your own home. There are no special skills required. There are no age limits except for minors uh, for obvious reasons. It has a very low startup cost compared to a brick and mortar store or any other business for that matter. Affiliate marketing consists in its rawest form of two easy steps. Three, if you account applying to become an affiliate, but that's only a one-time thing. Step one, you tell people about the benefits of the product and you give them your special link. And this is referred to as sending traffic. Step two, they buy the product or service and you earn a commission. Well, and then obviously collect your money. Easy peasy. Now we're going to get to the really cool part. And if we add one or more two steps to this process, you can improve the number of sales. Or if you wish to call it something else, the amount of money you make. But this, this video is getting a little long, so let me show you how we can improve these simple two-step system and 20 times your results in the next video. When I told my friend about these video series I was making, he pointed out that you'd most probably be eager to learn more immediately. So I uploaded a free ebook detailing the seven steps to becoming a super affiliate. If you would like to get hold of this free ebook, I ask that you share this video with three of your friends. Now below this video, there is a link that you can use to share this video. It's purely optional, of course. In the description of this video, I've placed a link to the next video. And I can't wait to see you at the next video. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon.